Hi, this is Mary Ellen with Portraits of Me, and today I'm coming to you with a quick video to announce my participation in Middle Grade March Marathon. I'm not sure if that's the official title or not, but I saw Bookie Laura's video, and it's a readathon for the month of March. You're reading five middle grade books, and I have five that I chose that I want to share with you. I'm a big middle grade book supporter. I like to read middle grade and like to encourage kids to read middle grade stories. So I'm hoping some of the books I picked are ones that you can share with the kids in your life. Some of them are older books that I enjoyed reading when I was younger and then some of them are not really new but they're books that I haven't read that sounded interesting to me. So there's five questions. I got this off of like I said, Bookie Laura's um, video, and I'll link her video below, but I'm gonna try to remember the five categories. I didn't write them down, I just saw her video and thought this would be a fun thing to do. And so I here's my five books. I'm just gonna show you the books and hopefully remember why I picked that book, what category it belongs to. So let's get started. This one right here is the first book I picked. This is for the category of read a book that you read and enjoyed when you were in middle grade. And that book I picked is this one right here. It's Where the Red Fern Grows by Wilson Rawls. And this is actually the copy I had growing up, as you can tell, because it's yellowed. And look, it has all my little stickers and stuff I put in it when I was younger. I don't put stickers in books anymore. But um, it also has, I don't know if you guys did this when you're younger, but when I was young, we went to the library a lot. My mom would take us there and we would check out books. And so the library copies that we would check out that were soft cover had tape on the, the sides of the cover. So I guess it helps eliminate creases and dents. And so as you can see on this one, I did that to this book because I saw it at the library when I was little and so I did the tape. The tape trick on this book little fun tidbit anyway this is the book I'm going to read for that category a book I read when I was younger where the red friend grows is about this young boy he has two dogs and it's his story about him and trapping and it's kind of a, a coming to age kind of story and it's a really interesting story this one they actually made a movie about as well but I'm going to use the category for read a book that I read when I was younger so that's this book here the second book that I picked, and this is for the category of reading a children's classic, is Peter Pan. And this book right here, I think it's an original book I had when I was younger too, because as you can see, it's kind of aging, has my name up there written in younger Mary Ellen cursive. And it's yellowing, so I know this is a book that I had as a child, so I think I did read this. I don't remember reading it as a child, but I'm sure I did. I haven't read this as an adult. I've seen the cartoon that Disney put out, and of course I love that cartoon. So I'm gonna read the book. I'm sure the book is a lot different than the cartoon because it is a classic. So I'm looking forward to reading this. And of course, everybody knows what this book is about. It's about Wendy going to, with Peter Pan to Never Never Land and her adventures there. So this is the classic I'm going to read for the month of March. And the next book I'm going to read is one that won an award of some sort. And the book I picked for this one is Indian Captive, the Story of Mary Jamison. So this book right here, it won the Newbery Honor Book Award. And so this is the one I'm going to read. Now this book I haven't read before. I didn't read this when I was younger. This is a copy I got at a bookstore back in 2012, and I haven't read it yet. See, I kept the receipt. So... This is the book I'm going to be reading. This is about a child, I guess her name is Mary, and she gets kidnapped by some Indians and it's her story of how she survived living amongst the Indians. I don't know much more than that, so I'm looking forward to reading this one. And this again is for the category of a book that was presented with an award. The next category is read a book where there is a movie adaptation of the book. And like I said, Where the Red Fern Grows, they made a movie out of that one, but I want to use that book as a book that I enjoyed when I was younger. So the book that I picked that they actually made a movie of is Island of the Blue Dolphins. And this one actually won an award too, so I guess it could fit two categories. It won the award of the most 
Distinguished Contribution to American Literature for Children. Oh, that's a nice award. But I'm reading this one under the category of a book that was made into a movie. Island of the Blue Dolphins. I didn't even know if it was made into a movie. I just saw this book on my shelf and I wanted to read it. And I had to Google it to see if there was a movie or not so I could put it into that category because if there wasn't a movie, I was going to use it as the award book. But since there was a movie, that's what this is going to fall under. As I was reading the back, this is one of my pet peeves. I'm just going to throw this into this video real quick. A pet peeve of mine is when a book cover isn't drawn or doesn't indicate what the book is about. For example, if the book describes the main character as a blonde haired girl and the picture is showing a dark haired girl, that kind of annoys me a little bit. As I was reading the back, I noticed it's one of those books, but it says here, see if you can notice what's wrong with the cover. In the Pacific, there is an island that looks like a big fish sunning itself in the sea. And there's a picture of the island, but of course it's not like a big fish. It's actually the girl. So they, they kind of did like a rendering of the girl who's stuck on the island. And then they drew the island coming off of her back. But even though it's kind of a nice little, you know, drawing, because that's kind of what the story is about. A girl gets stuck on the island her family and her tribe, they leave the island and they leave her on the island by accident and she's waiting for them to come back and rescue her. And it's her adventures as she's waiting for that. But the, it says the island's shaped like a fish. That doesn't look like a fish to me. Anyway, that's my pet peeve of mine. But it still sounds like an interesting story and I'm looking forward to reading this. I think after I read it, I'm gonna see if I can find that movie and then watch the movie as well. So that's this book. And the last book is read a book that has some diversity, I believe. And so the book I picked was Sword. It's this book right here. I got this one recently as well, probably a few years back. And it looks like I almost was going to read it because I put a post-it in there as a bookmark. But when I read the back, it didn't sound familiar. So I don't think I, I actually read this book. So this book is about a girl who wakes up on her 15th birthday and she is set upon a mission by her mother. She has to go and avenge her father's death. So it's kind of her story of, of that mission and what she learns. I guess it might be a coming of age as well because she's 15 and she learns the history of her family, has to avenge a death and what she learns during that whole thing. So I don't know much more about this, but it sounds interesting, something I would like to read. So this is my book with diversity in it. And that's it. So those are the five books I picked for middle grade March readathon, marathon. I don't know what the actual official title is, but these are the books I picked. So let me get them all again for you to show you. Really quick rundown, you ready? Classic, made into a movie, won an award, read when I was younger, and a book with diversity. So those are the five books I'm going to be reading this month and hopefully I can get through them all. As you guys know, if you've been watching my videos, I'm not a very fast reader, but I'm looking forward to this challenge and, and I'm going to try my best to read all of these for the month of March. So stay tuned to my channel because I will give you an overview at the end of March if I did finish them, which ones I finished, if I finished them all, what I thought about them. So make sure you stay tuned to that. If you are not a subscriber, please subscribe. I would love to have you as part of my channel. And if you like this video or are interested in any of these books, please give this video a thumbs up. As always, I love comments. So if you've read any of these books, or have any suggestions of what your favorite books were in middle grade, please leave a comment below. I would love to start a conversation with you. Again, thanks so much for watching my video. Hopefully my next video is on that Valentine's Day book haul, so stay tuned for that as well. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day. Bye.